What is up everybody, AJ here back again with another video. So I will be checking out Honkai Star Rail's version 2.5 special program which will go live in about 10 minutes time. And judging from the thumbnail being shown right over here, it is very high likely we'll be, we'll be getting a streamer, uh, a streamer version of um, March 7 just like how they did it back in version 1.5. And I won't be surprised that for every single 0.5 special program, March 7 will be co-hosting um, along with Albert. And I won't be surprised that during the coherent um, 0.4 or 0.5 um, versions of Honkai Star Wheel, we'll be getting different variations of March 7 maybe a March 7 part of destruction, maybe March 7 part of nihility. So, safe, it might be, uh, safe to assume that we might be getting those different variations of March 7 around um, the 0.4 to the 0.5 um, version update. So, what I'm gonna expect for this uh, special program is I definitely will be checking out the the second part of the the continuation of the Zenjo Lofu story quest. I'm, I'm not gonna go into detail because I have to assume that there, there are still people out there that have not checked out the first half of the story quest. So I'm not gonna go into detail, but I would say it is quite interesting. The the first half of the of the story quest of the continuation of the Zenjo Lofu arc is quite interesting to say the least. But so I so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the second half of the of the story quest, and I whether they will announce a um, character story quest, just like how Yuli got her her character story quest. I'm not really sure. But even if we do get a character story quest, it might. It's most likely it will be we will be getting a probably a facial only story quest or Linsha only story quest or we can have both at the same time and we might get a Mose uh, uh, story quest at the same time I'm, I'm not really sure man but it's definitely one of the I, I would assume either one of the three we, we might be getting a uh, coherent story quest and as for speaking for these characters right I don't think I'll be pulling for Fei Xiao even though because considering the fact that she is a uh, she follows the path of the Han and she's a wind element. Because I don't think I'll be pulling for her, even though she her design looks really interest or interesting and awesome to say the least. I might keep an eye on Ling Sha though, because Ling Sha, who follows the path of the abundance, in other words, she's she's practically a healer. If she has the if her kit has um, break effect involved then I have to pull for her because she might power creep Gallagher otherwise that if, if otherwise if she doesn't have the break effect uh, kit in her in her skills I don't think I'll be pulling for her so uh, I'm just keeping I'll be keeping an eye on Dingsha on how her gameplay works as for Mosey, who is a who is a four star character, uh, I don't think I'll be pulling for him. Nah, I don't think I'll be pulling. So, as of this very moment, I'll be keeping an eye on Lingsha, but whether I'll be pulling for her or not, it depends on how her kid works. So, and as a matter of fact, right? Hopefully, I'm pretty sure they're gonna do it. Uh, March Sewan's E6 because prior to this. Uh, special program as of this very moment we only get a uh, march servants half of the heart at e3 for my understand i've already done whatever event on hawkeye star Wars that there's uh that's uh available at, at the moment but so far march servant is only available at e3 uh the power her power of the heart because uh her idol is only at e3 so hopefully by the end of this special program they will announce um, her E6 is now available and they will announce how to get her E6. In other words, it's most 
it's most likely another uh, we might be getting another flagship event related to March 7 just like how we got it uh, in version 2.4 where we will be getting March 7's Path of the Hunt E3 through various means so hopefully they will announce E6 uh, because I, I really really want uh, E6 uh, March 7 Path of the Hunt Probably one of the, the best um, free to play characters, as a matter of fact. So, as for rerun characters, mm, only two characters. Wait, scratch that, make that three comes into mind. But I doubt they will do a Panacone character rerun that fast, though. I, I, it is very I, I, highly unlikely. And even if they do, because uh, I might have to keep an eye on. As much as I don't really, it's, as much as it, 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 I dislike to say this, but I might be pulling for Aventurine if he gets a rerun because Aventurine, Aventurine is needed for uh what was her name again? Oh crap! It's it's been it's been months and yeah, I forgot her name. Ah, Akron, Akron. Akron, uh, I'm sorry, Aventurine might be needed in um, Akron's um, premium team build. I'm not really sure, I might have to, have to check back later on. Um, but Aventurine is, uh, is not really on my priority list compared to these two characters who happens to be uh, my two favorite characters of all time in Honkai Star World. And these two characters are from the Stellar Hunter group, which are Firefly and Kafka. I so if but then again, Firefly's uh, banner was quite well, was quite recent, so I doubt we will be getting a Firefly rerun that soon. So it's very highly we might be getting a Kafka rerun. But then again, this is just my speculation this is just my speculation okay and i think that's pretty much my thoughts on what i am gonna what to expect on uh, this special program and yes i do know, know about the 2.6 drip marketing surprisingly they only reveal one new character because throughout all this time right Unga Star will uh at, before the special program they will reveal at least two new characters and both these two new characters are five star characters but in the 2.6 drip marketing they only reveal one character whether they will reveal the second new character on the special program itself or in version 2.6 there's only one new character the only answer to that is we have to wait for the special program for version 2.6 which will be around sometime in October I guess and I won't be surprised that at the end of the 2.6 special program we will be getting an announcement of a new area by the end of that particular special program I mean that's how they They've done it in for every Hoyoverse um, special program before the point O update. In the in the special program before that particular the point O update, they will give us a preview of a new area of some kind. Still, but then again, with 2.6 is just like what two months away from uh, from now, so. Le we'll, we'll just leave it at that for now, we'll just leave it at that. But I definitely will be reacting to the version 2.6 special program once it drops sometime in October. So, do look forward to that. This program is brought to you by the... In and whether or not your world has a day-night cycle, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening! <laughs> That's I'm Albert's line! March 7th! Before we ever went to the CN show, we'd heard about the war dance ceremony, and now look! I am currently on the Sienjo Lofu, where the ceremony will be held, bringing you the first on-site report! Hey, March 7th! Just because we're shooting outside doesn't mean you can do whatever you want! <laughs> State etiquette, remember? Uh, don't worry, Albert. I recently started training under my new masters, and those moves you just saw were legit! <laughs> and look at my outfit! Isn't it just so cute? <laughs> See, this is how an amateur 
let your host behave. What kind of host starts showing up? I'm gonna lie, uh, my son's outfit looks good though. How do you know the audience doesn't want to see this? Hey, chat, let us know how you feel about my outfit. Huh? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <clears throat> As a host with many years of experience, let me remind our amateur host who's only done this twice, it's time to start the program! Oh, uh, oh right! Uh, up next, explore the Cienjo with March 7th! We're not at that park yet! <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, all for just $19.99, this special discount is only available huh? on the Interstellar Shopping uh, Network! What the heck have you been watching on the Cienjo? <laughs> it. It's time for the expert to take over! Watch it, Play the trailer! Roll the trailer. Whoa! Welcome, welcome everyone to the war dance. Luca? This is unexpected. Both fighters are ready. Final showdown. Final showdown. Hmm, oh right, Ling Sha. Something ominous has arrived. Should be in the second half of the banner. Ling Sha, I am Preceptor Tauron. Of Sanctus Smith. Looks like the Alchemy Commission is involved once again. I'll be keeping an eye on you, Ling Sha. I'll be keeping an eye on you. If you give me the good stuff, then I'll pull for you. I helped plot the prison break in the Shackling prison. Seishao, the Forza Star Skin Haven are crawling with wolf like oh. creatures. They're moving fast. Oh, you come. We'll be there immediately. Alright, time to check out. Um, Okay, see the general's duty Wait, through to my was that a gun blade? Did she wield a gun blade just now? Are you ready for your death, abomination? <laughs> oh boy! Whoa! What the hell? Oh, I saw Jing Yan. I saw, I saw Jing Yu. I saw Jing Yu for a brief moment. I definitely saw Jing Yu for a brief moment. Okay. Which means it's very likely that Jing Yu will be making uh, an appearance for a brief moment in version 2.5 without a shout out. Because I clearly saw, even though it's for a brief moment, Jing Yu was in that, tra in that trailer. So. Safe to assume that she will appear in the in the main story quest for version 2.5. So from the look of things, right? Um it's most likely there's a tournament going on. And but then stuff happened where the, 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 the wolf hijacked the hijacked the tournament and Face Xiao is being requested to bring down that wolf. And I would be surprised that sometime during the, the fight between Fei Xiao and the wolf, stuff happened to her. So, we'll see how it is. I'm kind of looking forward to the main story quest without shouting it out. Welcome back to the version 2.5 Flying Aurea Shot to Lupine Roo special program. I'm sure you all are brimming with anticipation after seeing that trailer. With that in mind, let's head it back over to our correspondent on the CN show and see what's been happening there. All right. Hello, March 7th. Uh, March 7th. Hello, we're in the CN show. Uh, uh, March 7th. Yeah, we're in the CN show. <laughs> Could you briefly yeah, describe I... to us? <coughs> uh, 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 Seems like there's a little delay, huh? How about this, March 7th? Then I'll Why just don't get you just say? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. This is awkward. Dear viewers, I am at the venue where the war dance will take place. The Sky Splitter! Let me tell you a secret. It seems like something big will happen on the Sienjo. In this very spot, one of the... Uh, March 7th? Let me introduce the very special guest for today's program. The new cauldron master of the Sienjo Lofu's army My... commission. Oh, Lingsha. Hello there, beautiful. Lingsha. It's a pleasure to meet everyone. 
The Merlin's Claw, the Xianzhou Yaojing. Merlin's Claw. Fei Xiao. Hi, everyone. General Fei Xiao is busy dealing with some very important things. So oh. She asked the little Fu to have someone fill in for her. <laughs> oh, and finally, the Shadow Guard of the Xianzhou Yaojing. Mo. Moza. Oh, Moza. <laughs> Let's once again welcome everyone with a warm round of applause. So it's pronounced Moza. <laughs> Part seven. Meanwhile. Is there? Are, are we are we back? Looks like March might have a problem. Is it serious? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the issue has been fixed yet. My deepest apologies, your guest. Mr. Albert, there's no need to apologize. These things happen. We all understand. Technical error on March and stress so much. It's not good for your health. <laughs> Miss Lingsha is so right. <laughs> then uh, let's just focus on our studio for now. At the end of the last version, some not so great things happened on the Law Fool. Mr. Albert, are you saying? They've invited so many people to this war dance. It's a huge deal. How could something like a prison break in the Shackling prison happen now? Mr. Albert, let's suppose you wanted permission to exceed this program's budget. Would you follow all the right procedures to get your request approved? Or would you mix it in with a bunch of other applications the day before a public holiday? Uh, how did you know I... Uh... I just mean, the war dance, with the chaos of all the visitors from abroad, provides a similar opportunity for someone to take advantage of. Suppose, also, a little rabbit snuck into this studio. Would Mr. Albert let it hide and chew on the wires? Or would he put a few carrots on the table to try and catch it? Rabbits don't chew on wires. I think Miss Lingshaw is just using an analogy. I get it. Setting a bait. Is this what General Jing Yuen meant by wash away the dregs? Let me see what speech the general left for me. It says we need to take this opportunity to give the Law Fu a good cleanup. Is there some place on the Law Fu that's dirty? Please be assured, the Cloud Knights have already arrived at the Shackling Prison to begin rescue efforts. General Fei Xiao will personally lead her troops in capturing the escaped Boris and criminals and ensure the safety of the surface of the Law Fu. General Jing Yuan will go to the Shackling Prison and investigate how this incident played out, while General Huayan will assist with overseeing the affairs at the Law Fu's six commissions. You know, Huayan, oh, the, the old man. involved makes me feel better already. But what about Mr. Zhao Cho? He's still with the Borisin. General Fei Xiao says she knows Zhao Cho has his own reasons for doing this, whether it's to pin down the enemy or gather intelligence. Ooh, I hope Zhao Cho takes care of himself. I'll find oh, him. The much soon I call. Rosen Green! Part 7! Now is that the time! If I may be so bold to ask, there's one much thing Sony's I too bubbly. <laughs> Hule is the Foxian's greatest enemy. Why hasn't the Yaoqing gotten rid of him in these past 700 years, but instead just sent people to visit him? Uh, apparently, it has something to do with never dying in eternal punishment or something. Oh. My notes suggest asking General Jing Yuen later. <laughs> He's better at explaining these things. It looks like Miss Lingsha's questions will be cleared up in the Trailblaze Continuance Finest Duel Under the Pristine Blue 2. The only thing left is the task of defeating Hule. That better not be a tree. Hey, March! But I heard they say this. It's, it's only a two, the final like duel is only a two part, from what I understand. On my end. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. Uh, awesome. Uh, where are we in the program now? Where you defeat Hule. Huh? Huh? <laughs> all right, all right. That's enough jokes for now. The audience is getting impatient, Mr. Albert. Let's start the next segment. Character... Okay. Fei Xiao. Wind element that follows the path of the hunt. Oh, she's using a gun blade! What? Uh, as we all know, General Fei Xiao never loses in battle. Hold up. He's known as the vanquishing general in the Alliance. Today, 
We're lucky they to show has Acheron's ult. The general said, "Great victories are won by the whole army." Facio has Acheron's ult. Take all the credit. Lacking general, lacking in worry. Rewind that. And rivals. We can Rewind that shoot! Liking and care for others' opinions. Unfortunately, I can't be right because I, I kid you not, I'm I am watching this. West, 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 West. I'm not kidding you. I am. Wait, 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 wait. Let, me, let me let me move my and my camera up top. <gasps> Is that really true? Let me move my face Everyone up top. I'm not kidding you. I'm watching this live now. I'm not kidding you. I'm watching this live. But still, you should really listen to your doctor. Okay, ten to be good. I am watching this live. I kid you not. Okay. I think I'll just leave my face up here for now. I just never thought she'd be so. You know what? Let's take it down. Let me let me bring my face down because. Carefree. Ah no. Death. The Verdant Knights of the Yao Shi. Death. Are an elite force composed. Facial has Akron's out. The arrowheads in the hut. Excuse me. Their fighting style is exactly like General Fei Shao's. <laughs> I leave the strategizing to people like Jing Yuan and Yao Guang. My duty is to be the arrow that helps pierce the hearts of the enemy. <laughs> Still not gonna pull for her though, <laughs> unfortunately. According to Su Shang, on the Yao Ching, they probably do 60 sets of strength exercises and then run 20 miles for cardio. Aww, Excuse me? I think I underestimated the Yao Ching. The general used to train me this way. It's not bad. Isn't there a saying like, life lies... Moza just casually give, give, happy, give so the thumbs up, like... Try. Only with the most extreme like what the heck? self discipline can you become stronger than everyone else. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at the general's heroism in battle. General Fei Xiao follows the path of the hunt and excels in all kinds of battles. Her basic attack I and just... skill deal wind damage to the enemy Her using icon gun is different. and a battle axe, respectively. The general also works closely with her allies. After her teammates attack the enemy, her icon is different. Yeah, her gameplay looks you know, to the enemy. General her gameplay is very similar to Akon in that sense. After every certain number of attacks. That's right. After she uses her skill, Feisha will immediately trigger her talent's follow-up attack one time. When she uses her ultimate, Feisha consumes six points of flying Aureus and carries out a series of attacks on the enemy with her gun blades or battle axe. So she really is using a gun blade. With a final blow. She Aureus really uses a gun blade. Twelve points. Different combat strategies are needed to deal with enemies in different. <laughs> this is she's literally you going super saiyan mode. Gun blades deal more damage to weakness broken enemies, but if the enemy is not weakness broken. The battle axe deals more damage. The Merlin's claw swoop down, striking the enemy with a Oh, force so you have two ways of attacking star. enemies when you're going Super Saiyan oh, mode. Yes, Either you're using the axe, the by the or you're using the gun blade. The source of her power and her duty. The general's technique is also very unique. Using it during exploration increases her movement speed and pulls in multiple enemies within a certain radius. What? The general attacks while in her technique state. The enemies pulled in what? To enter combat and she will deal damage to all of them. The general She's pretty wild, I will say this. And the more enemies pulled in, the higher her damage. The Azure Dragon draws forward. And the flying She's pretty wild, I will say this. Of General Fei Xiao is truly admirable. Let's just say she doesn't care what others think of her when she gets worked up. We also have another little announcement. General Fei Xiao's animated short and myriad Celestia videos will be released soon. I'm really looking forward to them. In version 2.5. Oh. Fei Xiao will be getting her own animated short as well. A brand new trial for the Trailblazers called. Echo of War, Inner Beast Battlefield. Wait, Echo of War? Wait! Boss fight against Face Xiao? But why? 
I mean, granted, it's kind of cool though that we'll be fighting against Face Chow, but there has to be a reason as to why we're fighting Face Chow, right? Oh my gosh. Like our tradition of fighting friends wherever we go continues. I smell the scent of blood. This flying Aureus state seems unusual. Yes, the opponent in this trial is a shadow of the general and an apparition of flying Aureus. What? Ecliptic inner beast. As the saying goes, if you know yourself and know your enemy, you will not lose in a hundred battles. <laughs> Before you take on the General's Trial, I prepared an exclusive Battlefield report for you. Ecliptic Inner Beast and Shadow of Fei Shao have three phases. Ecliptic Inner Beast will join the battle starting from the second phase. Okay. Different parts of the beast can separately apply different debuffs to our team. Oh dear. In battle, Shadow of Fei Shao resonates with Ecliptic Inner Beast's parts. Resonate will cause the Inner Beast part's next action to be enhanced and greatly increase the threat they pose to the team. Shadow of Face Shao's ability deals massive damage to all targets. Shadow of Face Shao? this ability, every part that is yet to be broken will increase the damage dealt by the ability. And the ability will enhance the parts that are not weakness broken. It seems like the best strategy is to weakness break the inner beast parts in resonant states as quickly as possible. Then, Shadow of Face Shao is much less dangerous. Attacking the weakness broken inner beast parts will deal even more damage to Shadow of Fei Shao. After completing the trial, you will be able to obtain Auspice Slipper, Ling Sha and Moza's advanced trace materials. Oh, reminder, you have the advanced trace materials used by General Fei Shao is Regret of Infinite Okuma. Okay. Next, I'd like to introduce So long story short, if you want to understand. Um, increase Ninja's talent, you have to fight the Let's shadow of Fei Xiao. Sha! Okay. Well, hello there, beautiful. Alright. I wanna hear, I wanna see how her, ga her gameplay works. Damn. Miss Lingsha is as light and graceful as a wisp of smoke. And she has a very pleasant scent. <laughs> you flatter me, Miss Gui. I am a healer, and I've always carried medicinal incense with me. I use oh, she uses incense to help me practice medicine. And okay. some of it always ends up sticking to me. We had a healer on the show last time, but all we could smell was hot pot. <laughs> The Dr. Yeah. Jiao Cho focuses on nutrition and food as medicinal therapy. I use incense to diagnose patients and am very sensitive to smell. After all, every person has their own unique scent. What? Did I hear right? You use smell to diagnose illnesses? A smell can convey a lot of information. For example, while Mr. Mod's scent is so faint that it's almost imperceptible, it seems to be a combination of fougere and woody notes. Concealing many stories underneath. Hmm. As for Miss Gui, I detect the lively notes of fruit and the refreshing scent of citrus. It must mean Miss Gui has very few worries. <laughs> but I'm not really all that amazing. Cauldron Master, you're amazing. <laughs> what about me, huh? What do I smell like? Hmm. Boy. Mr. Albert takes things in stride. And is very clever. You have the scent of a very smart bird. Oh, you! <laughs> oh, I'll be blushing. That you return to the Law Food this time and urgently take it up the position of head of the Alchemy Commission. What's going on? <laughs> to be honest, after the Ambrosial Arbor disaster, the problems in the Law Food Alchemy Commission that have accumulated over the years have finally come to the surface. Like rats leaving a sinking ship. Head them off of the pass! Many healers are obsessed with medical research, but they very rarely communicate with each other. Oh. The factions and cliques are complicated and deeply entrenched. Fortunately, I've traveled and studied on many Sienjo ships, so I have a deeper understanding of the Commission's current <laughs> situation. I've seen a lot of messy things, but it's rare to see something as messy as this. 
Wow. The cauldron master must deal with a lot of trouble in her daily work, no? <laughs> oh, that's just how work is. These problems can't be addressed or solved in one day. But I do my best. But since I'm already here, I won't go easy. Oh, what was it that Chin Shui said? When the sky falls, there's always someone tall to hold it up. The Cauldron Master is both tall and capable. No matter how much trouble she faces, she'll be able to handle it. Then I hope your words ring true, Miss March. Oh, and thank you to Mr. Albert for interpreting for me. The scent of this smart bird definitely has gourmand notes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I heard that not only is Miss Ling Shaw good at identifying people by smell, she is also quite capable in combat. As a healer, I excel at using incense to heal others, but also oh, weaken enemies. In combat, my skill deals damage to all enemies and restores HP for all allies. Through my talent, dealing my damage while healing? That's nice! Fu Yuen. Fu Yuen launches a follow up attack during its action. Dealing damage to all enemies. It also dispels one debuff from all allies and restores <laughs> HP. Oh, this incense! Dispels debuff and restores HP thought. at the same time? It's adorable! <laughs> Damn! It's a creature I created from inside the You I see and it helps me in Okay! But since I see you, incense, guy! I see you! After a few actions. I see you! A little longer? Yes, it's not too difficult. You intentionally when showcase this team so that you would help me to pull for Ling Sha. I see you. When I use my ultimate, I deal damage to all enemies and heal all allies. At the same time, I inflict the befog state on all enemies. Enemies in this state also take more break damage. When I use my That's it, I'm pulling for Ling Sha. I I heard I break damage. I heard break damage and inflict befog on all enemies. A very reliable you know, I have to pull for Ling Sha already. I have to. Because I clearly heard well break protected. damage. Sorry, Gallagher. Ling Sha, but can I the your, your, your services are not required anymore. Okay, I'm pulling for Ling Sha. That's it. <laughs> and Hong Kai did a ridiculously smart job by putting... By showcasing Ling Sha with the Firefly Super Break team. I'm General I see you for Onkai Staru. I see you. Alright. Um, Moza is next. And speaking of which, uh, Facia was in... What? Which team was Facia in? I clearly saw Robin in the team conversation. My work but... doesn't really lend itself to being in the limelight. <laughs> yeah, we but I, really but even after all the, after all helped. that, even <laughs> after that gameplay showcase of uh, Vaishal, I don't think I'll be pulling for her because I have to pull for Ling Sha. I'm sorry, I have to pull for Ling Sha to make my Firefly Super Big Team more power. Mr. Albert hasn't fully right, I'll shut up for the situation. Now. A shadow guard working at the general's side isn't the same as a bodyguard. Uh, Mr. Mwodza is mainly in charge of gathering intelligence. He helps the general deal with matters that she can't personally deal with. Could it be? I've heard legends about a crow feathered weirdo on the Yao Jing. Uh, Alba, it's your. Crime. Is your mic a little low? He strikes with extreme brutality and has scared off many people who intend to do evil. Zhao Cho made that all up. It sounds like there'd be feathers all over the place. That's not me. I clean up after myself. Oh, you really are perfectionist, Mr. Moza. That's right. The general said when they were all eating hot pot at Zhao Cho's place, Zhao Cho went to answer the phone halfway through. When he came back, Muoza had already cleaned up the pot and all the bowls. I did what I needed to. Uh, Mr. Moza! Do what, what must be doing? done. The floor is dirty. That feeling of finally eliminating years of stubborn filth. It's indeed refreshing. As expected of someone with so much initiative. Now, 
Let's take a look at how Mr. Moza performs in battle. <sighs> All right. Mr. Moza is a lightning type character following the path of the hunt. Correct. His skill marks a single enemy as the prey and deals lightning damage to it. Yes. Mr. Moza, don't you have anything to add? Are you asking me to? Uh, um, no. Moza, All right, Asta, then. Pela, My and Galaga. will allow me to enter the departed state while a prey exists on the field. Fine, I'll continue then. In the departed state, after allies attack the prey, Moza deals additional damage to the prey. Mr. Moza well, that's a nice combo deals damage to a single metaphor, right? target and launches a follow-up attack. After I use my technique, I will enter stealth mode. Attacking an enemy in stealth mode increases the damage dealt in combat. Ten steps in and one is slain. A thousand miles won't stay his pace. The deed is done, his robes are clean. I buries them all and leaves no trace. There's another advantage of hiding. When you're on a mission, you can avoid getting the area or yourself dirty. Uh, right. Well, now that we've introduced our guests, <laughs> let's take a quick break for our sponsors. The program will continue after. Hold all right, up. dear audience, we now have some special news for you. In okay. version 2.5's first half warp event, oh, we'll Pro see we'll be in the first phase. The limited five star character, Fei Xiao. The limited five star light cone, I venture forth to hunt, will also have a boosted drop rate. In addition, a special warp event will be launched in the first half of 2.5. First half? The limited five star characters, whoa, Robin, what? Black Swan, whoa, 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 Blowing night glow, Patience Black Swan. All you need, and Reforged Remembrance will also return. And Kafka? I need to remind everyone that in this special warp event, the warp count for the guaranteed five star will be shared among the rerun banners. And okay. Banners. Switching banners during the warp will not reset the count for the guaranteed. Whoa! And All three characters is a, is a must get though. Respective banners. The special warp events will open periodically. Dude, this is wild. More opportunities to invite their favorite characters to join the team. Why? But and why does Kafka have to be right before Ling Chan's banner, though? More stellar jades and trial stages. <clears throat> In version 2.5, second half warp event, trailblazers can acquire the limited five-star character Ling Shan. <laughs> The limited I have all these show. three characters though, but uh, I know I'm gonna have to have check back on drop. whether I already at the same um time, the four star light cone I've already it's easy screen iPhone second half warp event two not to mention the drop rates for the top five star only. character <laughs> dope as a numby and the limited five star light wow blissful. all I'll ladies <laughs> all right that's all, all ladies as a matter of fact Dear viewers, we'll see you in a bit. All ladies. Honkai, you cruel SOBs. And as a matter of fact, right, the first half will have three. will have a special rerun banner consisting of Robin, Black Swan, and Kafka. And. These three characters will be in the same banner. Therefore, uh, okay, <laughs> okay. And if you guys realize, right, all the characters in the rerun banner are practically females. Not a single dude at all, man. And oh gosh, every single dudes out there are gonna be in a dilemma. I will say this. But my highest priority right now is to get my hands on Ling Sha. Welcome back, dear viewers. Up next, we will be introducing the latest news about the war dance ceremony. <laughs> but, uh, but our communications with the on-site reporter haven't been restored. <laughs> Still technical Leave error. Me, Mr. Albert, where is the connection port in the studio? It, huh? It, what uh... I brought back the footage. Uh, hi, Albert. That was so scary. Someone with a hoodie suddenly gave me a hard drive and said something about connecting to the studio. What's going on? Well, that was fast. 
I used a hard drive to bring back March 7th's footage, and I'll use it to send over the studio's footage. It's very simple. <laughs> Looks like we can continue the program. So this is how you solve the problem. Will it not be too difficult for Mr. Modza to run back and forth like that? Why? It's just running. Uh, my apologies. Then thank you for your hard work, Mr. Moza. <laughs> hey, March 7th, can you hear me? Yes, Albert. The uh, highly anticipated war dance is about to begin. <laughs> and it'll take place on the Sky Splitter right behind me. We're in the port side audience seats on the upper floor of the Sky Splitter. The venue for the competition is just below us. Soon, the most anticipated event, the New World area, I guess. Masters match, will be held here. To prepare for the war dance, the Sienjo Lo Fu transformed this old military battleship into the venue for the competition. So on the Sky Splitter, you can see many traces of military weapons. Like this huge cannon! This was the main cannon the Sky Splitter Dude, the was cannon reminds me of the, the, of the, the cannon in Final Fantasy Sky Seven. Fire a salute. Apart from the competition venue on the deck, yeah, the different new area. cabins on the Sky Splitter have also been transformed into different areas to serve the contestants, tourists, and the media. Farther down, there are more areas like the contestant training area and the Starskiff entry and exit hold. Currently, the war dance is still open for registration. If you're interested in participating, you can sign up in the reception hall. We look forward to everyone coming to the Sky Splitter, March 7th, bringing you this latest report. Thank you, March 7th. The Luminary War Dance, the mm. highlight of this So that's the flagship event. ...will finally convene in version 2.5. Totally. Lots of people signed up. Shangshan's participating too. The general also says, Making friends through martial arts is one of my favorite things to do. If I were allowed to, I'd go and fight a few rounds too. If the general participated, there'd be nothing to compete for. To keep the competition interesting, the best masters aren't allowed to participate. Oh. I'm guessing that the crew of the Astral Express chose not to participate for the same reason. Of course! After thinking it through, we decided to keep our reputation a secret and let the Trailblazer play the role of the gray-haired coach who doesn't understand martial arts. At the same time, a red-haired, iron-armed young man from Belaba has also come to the Sienjo Lofu. Is that the planet that was once hidden in a snowstorm? I have heard very little about it. It seems that routes from Belabog to other worlds have now opened up. That's right. This young man's name is Luca. Now that these routes have okay. been restored, he's come to the war dance with the mission of showing off Belabog's style to the entire cosmos for the first time. <laughs> He represents the hopes of the entire planet. <laughs> the young man is so. leaving the nest for the first time and will be in an unfamiliar place. If he has no one to guide him, he will likely run into many obstacles. Don't worry, so the Ms. main focus Lisa. for the version 2.5 event is Trailblazer's Luca. Coming to the sky okay. Our dear Trailblazer is known for being a kind-hearted person. They will definitely not sit by and watch an old friend flounder around like a fish out of water. During the war dance, the Trailblazer will become Luca's gold medal coach and fight with him through all the challenges. According to the intel I've collected, the Luminary War Dance event consists of multiple competitions. In each competition, contestants must first participate in a point-based tournament to earn points, and only after accumulating a certain number of points will they qualify for the face-off match of that competition. That's right! Our contestant Luca needs to defeat key opponents in each face-off match one by one before he can face the ringmaster Yin Xing in the final showdown. Okay. In order to show that the IPC takes this event seriously, the Inner Astral Peace Corporation will also participate in the war dance under the guidance of Coach Topaz. They may even face off against Luca in the competition. In addition, 
Galaxy Ranger Boot Hill and the Knight of Beauty Argenti what? will appear in the arena in various roles. In every match, the Trailblazer will need to help Luca display his martial prowess to the fullest extent and earn the support of the audience. Okay. The two sides of the match will individually earn vibes based on how much the audience supports either side. So, the audience <clears throat> outside the ring can provide assistance? <laughs> it's just increasing audience participation and providing a more immersive experience. Okay. Completing designated actions during the match and achieving highlights will greatly increase your vibes and conversely cause your opponent's vibes to decrease. When either participant's <clears throat> vibes reach the maximum, the match will enter the enhanced inspiration state. The participant who earns the audience's support will gain stronger buffs and easily win the match. All right then, March 7th. Is there anything you want to add? <sighs> Watching the preparations for the war Peace. dance with all of you has my hands itching for more. It just so happens I've learned a few moves from my masters. So why don't I take the opportunity to show them to everyone? Really? Huh. Ha! Watch this! How's that? Pretty cool, huh? Oh, you better believe I'll reach the top of the war dance with my skills. When that happens, you'll all have to call me Sword Champion March 7th. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you become sword champion, but I do know sword champions will hit themselves in the head with their own sword. No. Well, I am still learning, but I think that everyone who's coming to participate in the war dance this time will have profound martial arts skills, and we'll all be first class masters. That's right. We are all looking forward to enjoying a spectacular war dance ceremony. I found the problem. This guy chewed through the wires. Uh -oh. That's why there was a problem with March 7th's connection. Ah, isn't this a tusk fur? I have one too. It is a creature that subsists on memoria. Hugging it while you fall asleep can raise your sleep quality and relieve anxiety and depression. Such a lively tusk fur. Does it take after its owner? This is a little sudden, but its owner is the Trailblazer. What? That's right. Trailblazers can obtain the pet Tusper by completing activities related to the Luminary War Dance okay. and summon it to their side. <clears throat> Hopefully it can cheer you out. Thanks to Mr. Moza for discovering it. <laughs> oh, why is my show so unlucky? The team is currently fixing the line. Let's proceed. Great. <laughs> Let's check out the Next. other exciting events this version has to offer. Riding the wave of the war oh, and by the way, the we will be getting the March 7 um, Idolon 6 at the, the war dance event. Because I clearly saw the Idolon icon the at the end exactly of the, at the, the last section of the reverse video. The so yes, we will be getting well, March 7 Path of the Han E6 at, at the, the war game section. Is making a comeback. Trailblazers will need to stack cargo on star skiffs to reach the shipping target. Oh, I remember the this. activity has both normal and ascension difficulties i remember this event levels, you can unlock the ascension difficulty complete different activities to collect rewards <sighs> using the shackling prison as a stage for the festival is rather strange it's also to spice up the judges free time with some fun cultural activities and bring everyone closer together <laughs> and, and, and Next. Oh, there's also a fresh oh that would just universe, universe getting an update this time the divergent universe brings us new curios weighted curios and occurrences along with some tweaks having been made to existing equations weighted curios and blessings the goal is to provide trailblazers with a wider range of battle experiences and gameplay modes the adventure domain in the divergent universe now huh. features Cowboy Showdown and Surging Firepower Challenges. Each challenge has You know what this mode reminds me of? Need to achieve the highest score the practice shootout at Resident Evil 4. <laughs> During the challenges, reward targets such as cosmic fragments. It really gives up the 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 vibe that dude this is literally the, the Resident Evil 4 practice shootout. This thing is interesting. 
it really gives up that same vibe. Agility. And as a matter of fact, like, gosh, I really need to check out the separate face, the DLC for Resident Evil 4. Direct face offs don't suit me. If I must pick one, uh, it'll be such a good game. I would say this. Such a great <laughs> remake of the Resident Since of. Uh, why not of a survival the horror game, as a matter of fact. Near the Divergent Universe highly recommend it. Even though you're not really a fan of horror games, I would highly recommend you guys to at least check out Resident Evil 4 Remake. Miss Ling Sha, if you've got some extra time on your hands. And as a matter of fact, right, Resident Evil 4 wins um, Best Horror Game of the Year in uh, the IGN Watch Show. Path equations to the Divergent Universe, allowing trailblazers to explore even more trails. The synchronicity level has also been increased to level 80, and the research of geniuses and Monday nights continues. <laughs> nice. That's not all. The Divergent new Universe has ornaments? also added two new planar ornaments. Lushaka. The Sunken Seas and the Wonderful the Banana the seas? Amusement Park. In okay. the next update, players can look teams? forward to the release of Stagnant Shadows, Shape of Mech Wolf, and Stagnant Shadows, Shape of Gloam. Lightning is for Moza. You can obtain the Wind is for Facial Material, Nail of the Beast Coffin, and the Wind Type Character Essential Material, A Glass of the Besotted Era. These materials will be used by Masters Moza and Faceshop, respectively. There you go. The Planar Fisher and Rome with the Strange Events are also making a comeback. <laughs> nice. Viewers, be sure to grab those double rewards. Woo. Ugh. All that info in one breath. Take it easy on yourself, Albert. <laughs> Woo. That's work for you. <laughs> Let's take a short break. There are even more great things ahead. And here is your last redemption code. Alright, let's sum it all up. Uh, I will definitely will be checking out the, the story quest for version 2.5. The War Dance event, where we will, we, will know, we will not only can get much servants part from the heart at E6, but apparently a new pet as well. And as for the character banner, I will definitely will be putting for Ling Sha. Since they showcase Lin Sha is compatible with the Firefly Super Break team. So I think that's pretty much uh, what I will be doing in the entire version 2.5 um, as of this very moment. And I'm not sure we'll be I don't think we'll be getting a, a sneak peek of um, version 2.6. I don't think so. I'm just I'm just kinda surprised that the fact that in the first half of version 2.5 We'll be, we'll be getting three different Welcome character back, events. Everyone. Now that we've come to the end of the show. I thought there was more to come. It's already the end of the show. Here comes the exciting part. Ten free pools. <laughs> the never ending, never absent gift of Odyssey. There you go. What? <laughs> Why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> well, what are you used to be at this point? You're right. We're already so used to it at this point. Pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. Right. Also in version 2.5, we've added new system optimizations for our audience. Oh, Go on. Tell us about it. Version 2.5 introduces a new pre-battle difficulty selection feature and the option to reselect the difficulty after a failed battle. Trailblazers oh. can casual mode and normal mode when facing formidable enemies. If you want a more laid-back adventure, Trailblazers can opt for the casual mode. Is it this is like type of sacred instrument to weaken enemies. This is like the, the what the, this is similar as the, the FF16 stuff where you can go story a uh, full story mode or you can go action mode. We're just about to say this. This is really the, the similar stuff uh, in uh, Final Fantasy 16. Really long day. Well, at least I managed to catch the end. Uh, I'd like to but I mostly will be going for normal mode because media, I have pretty much two, two teams that have been fully built. The for their encouragement. <laughs> uh, I, I might get a third one if I got Aventurine and Civil Wolf. I saw that other shows always end with a lot of thank yous. Anyway, I look forward to seeing everyone on the Sky Splitter and wish all of the contestants the best of luck. <laughs> March nailed it. I could never say it that nicely. <clears throat>
And at the end of the show, General Fei Xiao asked me to deliver these words to everyone. From providing testimonies to being entangled in the shackling prison incident, the Trailblazers are valued guests of the Alliance, who have come to our aid numerous times, only to face dangers repeatedly. There is undoubtedly a shortcoming in our hospitality, and we take full responsibility. We will swiftly address this crisis, and provide a vibrant war dance for everyone to enjoy. At the same time, Wait. I would like to take this opportunity gift to of present comment? a small gift to the Trailblazer on behalf of the Sienjo Alliance, wishing them a smooth journey ahead. Should the Astral Express face any difficulties <sighs> in the future, don't hesitate. Well, to this is that. unexpected. The Yao Ching is always ready to help. Uh, great! Thank you, well, that, okay, that was Thank unexpected. The, Alliance. Let's all look the gift of comment. Of the war that was unexpected. Together. Catch you all in the next episode. Wait, March? There's something behind you. What? Huh? What? Hey, isn't that? If Albert's on the sky splitter, then who's this sitting here? Someone here wants double pay. I really hope you understand, Rob. Stucken. I have a strong desire to improve myself. Yes. Yeah. You go again. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of the special program. Well, that's about it for now. If you guys enjoyed my reaction to the version 2.5 special program of Honkai Star Rail, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on the special program, who, which characters are you guys going to be pulling. I am definitely, once again, I have to highlight, I am definitely will be pulling for Ling Xia without Shadow of Rodao. Because apparently she is a better option uh, for my, uh, that will be replacing Gallagher for my Firefly Super Break team. So I'll be definitely pulling for her without Shadow of Rodao. And as for you guys, maybe you guys will be pulling for Facial, and you guys will be for Robin, Kafka, uh, Black Swan, and Top uh, Dingsha and Topaz. I hope you guys get the characters that you want, okay? As for the um, flagship event itself, I will definitely will be doing that one because I really, really, really want an E6 March 7 Path of the Hunt. I really do. And I think that's pretty much um, what um, my my entire thoughts on this special program. And so, time to wrap this up. My name is AJ, and I will see you guys in the next video.